NFL locked in controversy all week over Sunday's national anthem protests. Now the league and members of the Patriots are addressing the issue as some fans let their feelings be known. WBZ's Nick Giovanni reports. Well, just about 48 hours now till the Patriots and Panthers take the field inside Gillette Stadium. The Pats still haven't said much about what they plan to do during the national anthem, only that they do plan to do something as a team. Meanwhile, some fans are making it known there is one thing they do not want to see. Huddled around a fire, singing patriotic songs. Waving patriotic flags. USA! Wearing patriotic clothes. A group of about 100 people made headlines in Swansea Thursday night for what they were doing to their Patriots game day gear. I think people love our country, and I think it sends a great message to the NFL. Mark Shane organized the Jersey Burning Party to take a stand against some of the Patriots taking a knee during the national anthem by burning Patriots memorabilia. This while others looked on. Many in attendance were veterans. Some of these young kids, they don't, they don't know what those old guys went through. It upsets me that uh, they, uh, I, I understand that we do have issues with this country that need to be resolved. Uh, and I think that that's not the platform to be doing it. So how should players use their platform to tackle topics like racial inequality? Safety Devin McCourty was among a select group of players from around the league who attended a summit of sorts on that very subject at the NFL's headquarters this week, alongside Patriots owner Robert Kraft. Just a, a great situation and opportunity that we all could sit there and, and just talk and, you know, throw everything out there. And I think both sides got to walk away with a, a, a understanding of how to, uh, each other felt. How will each side respond come Sunday? The Patriots have only promised a unified approach to the pregame ceremonies. Reporting from Gillette Stadium, Nick Giovanni, WBZ News.